Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where you can probably tell right now, of course, I'm not in England. I have taken a bit of a break over the new year and that was to come to this lovely little island where we have now started to buy some real estate, get some land and start new projects over here too. So it's an exciting period, a bit of, uh, what do you call this, a bit of business with pleasure and um, I wanted to give you a really quick technical analysis here because a lot has happened in the past week since I've been away really. Uh, we obviously, last update I think I gave on YouTube from, from just myself on my own for a video I think was on the 23rd of December just before Christmas period and obviously we were talking about the failed auction slash swing failure pattern of the high which we obviously got on the 27th of December and then bringing us down once more towards the bottom of the range. So I just want to talk about this briefly give you a bit of uh, tips and tricks, I suppose, of what we can be looking forward to over the next, um, you know, really the next few days to this week. And uh, yeah, hope that you really enjoy the video as I will enjoy making it. So let's go straight into it. Uh, starting off as always with the past price action. So really I can educate you and help you. Make sure you get that trade next time if you somehow missed this one. Um, so yeah, it all started of course back on the 23rd of already having a plan and what was the plan <laughs> we have emphasized this a lot trade the range until it breaks and uh here at chart champions i think you can agree we are one of the best if not the best right now of range traders eg recognizing a range way 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 before it formed as soon as we had put in our pivot low of the low of the wick and our pivot high at 52k we are recognizing a range very early on of you know what we're going to be trading here Obviously, we come down to the CC for a bounce. Where did we come up to? You know, it was this level, as I've, as I've mentioned, ready and waiting for it. Okay, so it's that swing failure pattern type move of the high. Obviously, what we can say is a swing failure pattern, which is um, swing failure pattern for the people that don't know, is basically when you come up to that level that you're waiting for and you wick above it and you close back down below. The failed auction is obviously when you spend a bit more time above the level to gather orders. In the end, we got what we were waiting for and it was a swing failure pattern. Okay, I'm just going to show you this in a bit more zoomed in view so you can kind of see uh, this is what we're, you know, wait, wait from the lows, ready and waiting for it, you know, ready and waiting for that swing failure pattern. That was from the 23rd of December. And then we can see we got it on the 27th. This was coming into, you know, the 28th. We start to make our way down. And obviously we kind of bottom out here in the, over the next few days coming into the start of the year. But the one takeaway thing that you absolutely have to, you know, have integrated into your mind here is that, it's this this uh, step of ready and waiting for the trade, okay? So it's not, oh, I might do this if it happens, I might do that if it happens. It's, I know what I wanna see, and that's a failed auction or a swing failure pattern, and it's the only thing that I wanna trade. The only thing I'm interested in is a short from the top of that range, okay? So, you know, it was kind of beautiful, obviously, the way it traded out, exactly as predicted. <laughs> but, you know, that all come around by having the plan, being prepared, and just recognizing once again, we're here to trade a range. We're here to extract money from the market. While many people might refer to this as choppy, might refer to it as boring, you know, we're not here for dopamine rushes. We're not here to be excited. We're here to make money at the end of the day. And this is the most perfect environment to be making money right now on Bitcoin. I believe that 100%. So obviously that has taught you through that swing failure pan, which was madre mia, muy bien. And then we've obviously made our way down towards this CC once more. So you can you can really visualize now how we are in this sort of range highs to the lows to the highs, once back down to the lows. And something that I think is very interesting to note here is the way that we have gone currently, and this can be invalidated very quickly, remember, but we are currently building this higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low obviously this is another higher low and, and what we've done uh you know last night was another higher low and if you look if you zoom in here very closely we didn't quite take that low so this is just something to bear in mind okay um of, of course once again that that can be invalidated like that all we need to do is whip down below the level but currently we you know attempting to build a higher low at least back from the the 20th of december okay so this is where you put in your low this would be your high 
it's it's a tempting. It's a tempting to do a higher low. Of course, we'd want to see a bit more strength out of this level because at the moment we're just hovering over support. Not really classed as bullish, is it? Uh, we would want to see some sort of sign of strength. And I think we could class this sign of strength now as getting over this local range because we were basically in a local range from around 45,500 to around 48,800. So if we can break this local range to the upside, of course, this gives us a really big sign of strength where we'll be looking once again to simply trade to the top of the range. If we are unable to break, you know, what I'm classing as the local range here, which is over the past, uh, you know, about four, five days of price action here. If we are unable to break that local range to the, to the upside and then look towards that top of the range again, and we end up hovering here and breaking that higher low structure, well, it's, it's in my opinion, not going to look very bullish, unless, of course, we end with another swing failure pattern, failed auction type move off of this CC. Of course, just like we were prepared for that at the highs, we can be prepared for this at the lows, of course. But really breaking down here would, would, in my opinion, signal much more bearish sentiment, where we'll be looking much more down towards filling in this inefficiency okay, with the wick. Um, so for me, it's kind of blessed situation, I suppose, in a lovely short from the high of the range. How am I in that short position? Because it's the one thing that I was ready and waiting for. All I needed to do was have an, an alert after we move above that high, close below, take the trade. So obviously I am in that short position, no reason to close it. Uh, collecting funding, for the people that don't know, it's a brilliant way to hedge because especially if you're a swing trader, like I am more moving towards swing trading, I enjoy swing trading, it's nice and calm, collected, make the plan, enter the trade, make money. It doesn't have to be difficult in that regards. You know, then I can go out here and make investments, buy, buy stuff and, uh, you know, you know, it just frees up a lot of time, doesn't it, swing trading? So I, I, I'm in this really nice short position from following my plan from the top of this range. I have no reason to close this. What you might ask is, okay, what, what would be a reason to close this short position? Mm, close fully would be one thing. Close another percentage of it is another. For me to close another percentage of it, of course, it's going to be breaking this local range to the upside. If I can see that sign of strength, hey, be more than happy to close the percentage of that short position. And of course, if we break above that highs, close it all. I'm more than happy with the way that it's gone. Already hit two take profits on this. First was a very quick one. Second one was obviously when we hit the bottom of this range once again. And now for the last you know, take profit that I'm really looking for is, is would be a sign of strength. I don't want to close it until I get a sign of strength. Otherwise, go for lower, no? Um, so this really is my game plan, okay? It's uh, nice, simple. You can see I'm not giving a, you know, I'm just very... I know what I want to see. Again, this is the beauty of trading. If you don't see what you want to see, you don't take a trade. So I'm very, very focused. I know what I want. I know what what I need to take a trade. And if I don't see it, I really simply won't take a trade. It really is as simple as that. Okay. So from here, I'll be either looking for the failed auction swing fair pan off the CZ for sign of strength above the local range. Obviously, a break off the higher range, which is obviously at 52k or break off this lower range. Um, so just like I had back from the 23rd of December, knew what I wanted to see, and as soon as I saw it, I take the trade, no hesitation, no overthinking, bam, took the trade, win or lose, of course. <laughs> I won the trade once again, nice, of course. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm going to repeat the process, repeat the process, repeat the process. I've got the process on lockdown. All I need to do now is... Wait for that to occur once again. So that was the brief talk through of Bitcoin. Uh, of course, the altcoins, oh, what can I say? I mean, I could do a whole stream on these altcoins because, um, yeah, they've been very, very, very nice indeed. I suppose the number one right now for myself and many of the others in the group is Atom. This one has been um, just, oh, beautiful. I could do a video on that if you want. Um, obviously, I'll be back in England tomorrow, so a lot easier to make, to make updates. If you want to see an altcoin, you can drop a comment down below. If you appreciate me giving you this like while I'm on vacation, giving you this like, giving me, giving you this video while I'm on vacation, you can smash that like button. Smash that like button to a new all-time high. And uh, I hope that you have some smiles. I hope that you have enjoyed the uh, festive period. And obviously, you're looking forward to 2022. I think 2022 is going to be a year where, well, what can I say? We absolutely crush it. If you are not aware, Chart Champions right now, the number one team in the world after winning the latest trading competition. So, what can we say? I'm excited for 2022. 
I think we're going to continue to break records, continue to get trophies and basically take over this space once and for all. <laughs> we're already on that journey. So yeah, here's to 2022. Here's to being the very best that you can be and, um, you know, enjoy it enjoy the process enjoy the uh enjoy it with us what can i say enjoy it with us very proud very happy and um i end with a big smile on my face i just hope that you have a brilliant brilliant week ahead hope that you are understanding these charts um of course if you don't understand any of this chart champions we are here to help you every single day of the week uh obviously george right now doing his daily update live streams i mean there's just daily content it's just unreal if you think about it of course i'm going to end with a disclaimer for the no financial advice here we're just here to um you know we, we, what we say is the edu educational type moves here to educate you so we can you basically empower you to make your own money rather than being reliant on someone else so you are self-sufficient if you want to make some money you can go in and take a trade you're not waiting for somebody else that's what we aim to do and well that's what we are doing so um yeah thank you ever so much everybody hope that you've really enjoyed this one and i will catch you in the next one in well, a few days cheers everybody thank you and goodbye